Oh, yes, that'll do. Freaking hell, it's a bit of a tub. Right, so we need to get that to the saw. Welcome back to the channel. In this glorious episode, we're going to make a bush for a keyway brooch for the cranks that you saw in the last episode. For that, we're going to use a piece of 50mm EN8, because that's what I've got on the shelf. But it weighs a ton. Well, not literally a ton, but you know, it's quite heavy. And there's a problem with when it's in the saw. Let me show you. If I get the said piece of metal and I put it in the saw this way, and I clamp it up, the weight of the metal sticking out that way is just going to drop to the floor. Meaning I'm going to have a 30 degree to 45 degree cut. If I modify something, if I modify this that I made, which is an adjustable leg for when I was making things on the table, if I cut this piece down here, lower than there, then I can drop the top to the height of there, making it easier. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Who knows? Take that out. That'll do us. And I'll cut that bit off. Anyone for a piece of box? That should do us. Whatever that is. That'll do. Couple of nuts. So now, I should be able to get that the same level as that. Why didn't I do this earlier? Now that's a modification I should have done two years ago. Fantastic! We may be some time. Call back later. Hmm, might be a bit long that. We'll have to put the steady in the end. Quick face off, job done. So, we want it about... ...40. So I'll put a... We'll just go over slightly, we'll go about 45. I'll just put a mark on there. So 
I need to sh oh it's not it's not true that is it Oh, nice. Let's just give that a quick measure. Initially, we were 50. They were 47.78. So, quite a way to go. Very nice, that'll do us, that's one done. So we now have our bush turning for the keyway brooch. Now what we need is we need a slot in this to accept the brooch. So the brooch goes along its length.
Beautiful. Beautiful. There we are, we're through. Oh, we've cut something, we've got loads of chips on it. Not much to see though. Right, clean that off, put the uh, shim in, and go through again. I think we might need an extra shim and I'm have to do some calculations but that goes in there there is no play can't feel any movement in that so yes I am impressed with that very nice so there we go we've got the cranks keyed out I'm super impressed with the bushes that I've made they turned out really well I just made them a nice slip fit into the holes it <laughs> worked out really well uh, the key way brooch that was from RDG tools there's not even a mark on it it's fantastic um, so we can use that again you know you've got to be very careful with these brooches uh, you can damage them quite easily but that one seems to be a-okay next we've got the crank pins to do those get pressed into the fly cranks first and then the cranks get pressed onto the axles. So we are very, very close to having the locomotive wheel sets finished, which is brilliant, which means we're one step closer to getting the chassis the right way up, which is the goal. If you like what you've seen in this video, and you haven't already, then please do, by all means, click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. You'll be notified when we next release a video. And if you wouldn't mind giving it the thumbs up, then that will be fantastic and that will help it share around to like-minded people like yourself interested in this type of thing and i'm quite sure if you click up there you may like that video stay safe laters